Hey everyone, happy Friday. I am gonna get right to my outfit and showing you a few things because I don't want this microphone like dragging my sweater down. So I'm trying to think of how to start this. First, I wanna start by showing you the boots, one of the pairs of boots that I got last week and showed you from Inez. I always like to kind of check back with you, especially on something that is kind of expensive. I love these. These are kind of like the shoes I needed but didn't know it. And I always say, I'm gonna do a video on style tips, but I promise I am. But it gives you the advantage of having it's kind of like wearing more than a shoe and a boot. It kind of gives you the look of a heel or a pump, but with a boot too. And I think it just, it's just kind of like a neat shoe, a neat shoe to have in your wardrobe. Of course, you could wear them with jeans or anything else, but I want to show you how I'm wearing them today. The jeans I have, I bought during the Rag and Bone, I think it was like the Cyber Sale and the jeans I love, the shoes I ordered are these. And, oh, this was heartbreaking. I wanted to cry. I always am like true to size when it comes to rag and bone, but these were too small. But look at these shoes. They are magnificent. They come in different colors. The heel, again, is like the perfect height. It's very similar to the ones I have on, which are the 70 millimeter. But they were just, I know that this will give because it's a stretch leather, but I'm going to exchange them for the 38 and a half. I wish I could show them to you, but my foot is like hanging off the end. But then, you know, when I looked on the website, I'd be daggone if her foot isn't hanging off the end, but I don't want that. So I'm thinking the eight and a half will be perfect. Here again, this is a shoe that gives you almost that sandaly, you know, high heel look, but with more coverage, which is what I'm looking for. So that is something I wanted to show you. Unfortunately, they're not still on sale. I'm only going to get them for that price just because I ordered them during that sale. Okay, so now let me stand up and show you what I have on. And I did not turn my overhead. Let me do it for this though. It's just maybe you can see better. But I feel like when I do stuff, I don't know. You have to tell me, could you see better when I had no light or that light on? Maybe I should keep that light on. We'll see. Okay, so this is one of the sweaters that I ordered from, is it Naked Cashmere? They were having that half off sale. This is how they come in this bag like this. It's reusable, but let me go ahead and take this off right now and just hold it. But this one is the one that I was telling you that kind of has the unfinished, you know, neckline and it kind of just goes out like this. And what I would do in this situation is tuck it in. Now the jeans I have on are the ones that I ordered from Rag and Bone. And these may not be for everyone because they are the Dre Low Rise Slim Boyfriend. Low Rise is just, I like it. Now see, it is Low Rise. See, like my belly button's right there, looking in the mirror. But when you are slimmer almost through here than you are through here, these I feel like are almost more flattering and definitely more comfortable. So that's why I got them. I love a white jean in the wintertime and in the summertime. And I like these because of the length and the fit. See how they're... They say slim boyfriend, but they're basically just like a straight. And I did size up to the 27. They will probably stretch out when I drive and everything, but I wanted these bigger. I wanted to just have a comfortable, flattering pair of white jeans that didn't give me like that tight, rolly look right there. This is a thicker, more rigid denim. It's not just like real stretchy or anything, and I really like them. The shoes, you can see, I love the way it still exposes the ankle, and I love black and white. 
You could easily put a boot, a clear shoe, a tan shoe, you know, that's just up to you. But I wanted to show you something else that I got. And you guys knew I was getting this. I hope you can hear. I'm gonna just set this down for a minute. This is the Balfern All Saints Moto with the gold hardware. I will say size up at least one, if not two. This is the size six. So in my mind, I was sizing up, but I really almost could have sized up to the eight. But my other Balfern All Saints is a six. So that's why I got it. And then let me put it on and then I'll put my microphone on. But the hardware is just gorgeous in the gold. But I want to tell you about another difference I noticed right away. But I got this 30% off, so I'm not going to worry about it. If I'm really worried about it, I will take it to a dry cleaners or a seamstress. But remember how I always say I love the belt on the other one because it doesn't move? This one has the real belt, so it moves. And I hate that because for some reason in my mind, I'm worried about losing it or I don't want it like doing like this. It just bugs me for some reason. So I'm going to probably just have it tacked in the back and roll with it. Gosh, okay. Wow, okay, I see what they did. They have it, it's like hidden, but it still moves. Maybe, you know, maybe some people wanted that. Maybe I'm the only weirdo that didn't want it to move, but we shall see. But so this is my outfit. Now it might make more sense. Here, let me put this on this jacket now. Now it might make more sense why I have on the black shoes. And I love, I wish every jacket would do this. It snaps so that you can snap your lapel back. And honestly, guys, to, for the quality of this jacket, it's worth full price. I think I paid full price for my black one or my one with the silver, but, and then I got it for 30% off. So I was extra, extra happy with that. So like this is the entire outfit and I would probably give it just a little bit of a front tuck. So it gives you just that little bit of edgy vibe, but it's still fresh, pretty crisp and all of that good stuff. Okay, hopefully it's not too bright in here. Wow, I've got so much good stuff to show you. Every, every week I think it's gonna be a short one. I don't have much to show them. And then like today, some stuff was delivered. Okay, this is the other sweater that I got from Naked Cashmere. And you know, keep in mind, these were 50% off at the time. If I had to tell you right now, my favorite cashmere sweaters so far, and this is from Everlane, the Naked Cashmere, um, Lily Silk, and J. Crew. Lily Silk and J. Crew all the way. Like this is nice, but it's not quite as soft and just cuddly as the J. Crew and the Lily Silk. Both of those are just, I don't know, they feel softer. But this is the other one that I got on sale. It is more of that cropped, I love this shape, the cropped kind of square boxy shape. And this one has the turtleneck. It's just kind of like a mock turtleneck. It will just kind of bunch right here. So those are the ones I ordered. I think you guys probably ordered some of those too during the sale. Hey, I ordered some more Barefoot Dream socks. I was thinking they quit making these. I think I was just thinking in, of this when the Nordstrom sale, they didn't have this design in the Nordstrom sale, but I saw them on the website. These are my favorite. I've gotten the Uggs socks. I've gotten the other style of Barefoot Dreams, but I always come back to these and I wear a different pair every night because one, I put on that foot cream, which she told me to tell you guys it's back in stock. She restocked it. I know they had run out. I actually ordered three, three or four more tubes of the foot cream because I wanted to have some for me. I actually, Will's feet are very calloused and stuff from his shoes. I wanted to just see if he wanted to try. I don't know if he'll do it. 
And then I wanted to have some as gifts too. And that, I think she gave us 30% off or something. So I have those coming today, I think, matter of fact. So I will put that on my feet and I will put these on and then I will sometimes sleep in it. Sometimes I get too hot and I take these off and I put them on again the next morning and I wear them around the house so they get dirty. And I feel like they've got that foot cream in them. So I do, you know, take them off every morning and put a new pair on, so I got these. But they're my favorites. And you know what would make a good gift? A pair of these and a tube of that foot cream. Many of you had asked me about the Privé Revo Victoria. You were saying that you thought they might be too big for you. So I went ahead and ordered the Victoria Mini during the sale. I think these ended up being $28. I really love that color combination. I hope you can see it has like the gray tort underneath and then the gray on the back. And I'll be honest with you, I got a big head. I, my head is really big. <laughs> I didn't know that until I got into hats, like the Rag and Bone hats. And there was another hat that I had to exchange for. I, I wear a medium. So my hat, my head is somewhat big. And I think these are too small for me. I think I prefer the regular Victoria. They even feel a little small, like the distance from here to here. I feel like they're not quite fitting over my ear as well, but as you can see, they're beautiful sunglasses. I really, this brand, I mean, even if you see another style that you like, the Coco is probably, the Coco and Victoria, they're my favorites. But even if you see another style, oh, and the Paris, I love those too. These are nice sunglasses. Like they are same quality as like Gucci or any of the others. They're really nice. Hey, okay, this is something kind of different that I ordered. I saw a picture of a girl doing her outfit of the day. My friend sent it to me and she was holding one of these. And I was like, oh, I need one of those. I need one of those for my drink instead of taking a styrofoam cup everywhere like I do. So I ordered these from Amazon and they're just solid black, isn't that chic? Solid black tumblers. And it's a set of two. Now I know you can also get, ooh, okay. I don't wanna tear my fingernails off. Okay, here's the straws. You can also get them with like studs, but I don't know, sometimes I'm not the biggest, can't say I'm not a stud fan because I do like studs, but in only certain cases, sometimes they look a little mean. I don't, like. I think I've told you this, I only like sweet studs. I don't like it when they look too, I'll just leave it at mean or harsh. So I didn't care for those. I really thought this was the prettiest one. And of course they have different colors and I just think it is so pretty. It's just one of those little things, like I always say, make every little thing in your life special. Make every moment special. And then when you put them all together, your whole day was just full of special little moments like this, like your socks and everything else. I mean, it doesn't take a lot to do that. So I wanted to show you these just in case. I know that's upside down. And it, they were not very expensive at all. And then, I don't know if you saw my video with Nawai. You guys, the best. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. That bra fits me better than Honey Love. It fits me better than any bra, Skims. I'm trying to think of any other ones that are comparable. It just fits me so good and I love it. I just, I find myself like not wanting to wear it out. So I ordered some more things that day or the next day from the Barely Zero line, and I've only gotten half of the order. And I did use, um, I think I used my code. So this, of course, isn't sponsored. I got this on my own. But I ordered more of the, I think you had it where you could get two or three in a bundle. This is the one I'm talking about. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the, well, I'll show you what it looks like with the pads. And then, and I have not had to adjust the straps. They kind of came just where they fit to me. But I think as time goes on and maybe as we wash them and things like that, we might have to if they stretch out. But you guys, this thing is just so 
comfortable. And I think it's like one size, but I do know they have some with more support, um, you know, for heavier boobs. They had like several different styles, and but I just got the same one that I got because it is so comfortable. And I will link that video up here so you can see where I try them on. Like I say, nothing ever fits me like right through here like these do and I just love them. So I ended up getting, I don't know how many, let's see what's in here. Okay, <laughs> yep, here's another one. And I know I got, okay, this one's um, Tracely Almond. Okay, so this might be the other one. Yeah, I got two more black ones and a nude one. You know, sometimes you just have to have a nude one for like a white t-shirt or a white tank top, but nine times out of 10, I wear black, you know, under black or whatever color. So that's why I did that. Now, I don't know when I'm getting my next order, but I did order more of the leggings amazing they feel so good you will feel like you can fly like peter pan they make you feel so good but i was asked how do they compare to honey love leggings it's kind of like apples and oranges the nay leggings are those that you put on and you just almost feel naked i mean you just feel like you feel supported but you don't feel like you have pants on and they're soft and they're just easy to take on and off. They don't stretch out. I was able to wear them twice. I mean, they wash well, I've washed them. I just hung them to dry. But the Honey Love leggings, which probably is the leggings from Honey Love and the Tank Cami, not the Tank, the Cami Tank are my favorite two things. The Honey Love leggings have way more support they're more substantial. I love that they have the built-in uh, shaping. They have the built-in underwear and they're just way more substantial. So if you are wanting more support, more of a substantial legging and um, I don't know, they've got the pockets on the side too. They're just, there's more to them with the Honey Love. So I think really there's a need for both. Okay, I'm saving the best to last. Okay, this is, oh, these are the tags off of my sweater and off of my jeans. So yeah, it was the low rise, um, let's see, sits on hip, relaxed through hip and thigh, slim leg, the original boyfriend jean, the Dre. I really like them, but I think it's just according to your body shape. I know some people say they will never, ever, ever quit wearing high rise. In some cases, I like high rise, especially in a trouser things like that, but sometimes I just, you know, this is just so much more comfortable. Okay, I told you I was gonna go back to Gap and get some more of those pants for $20. So I went, that was the only place I went that day. I went back and I got the green ones. What makes these special, and I've got another pair coming up I'm gonna show you in a future video, but what makes these special to me is the fact that they kind of kick out at the bottom. It just gives it a little bit more uh, flair, a little bit more style, a little bit more pizzazz. It just makes them a little bit more than a sweatpant or a jogger. And the day that I wore that Amazon sweater, I will put the, actually, I was gonna say I'll put the video. It's the sweater I was wearing in my last hair video. So I'll put that video up here and I'll try to put in a picture, but the black gap velour pants with that Amazon sweater with the puff sleeve and the long, just tight sleeve, that looked just like a Susie Condi type outfit. That was definitely the vibe I was going for. I loved it all day and I think I ordered another one of those sweaters in cream. That I love. I will say size up in these. I gave my small ones to my mom. Okay, so I got that color and then I got this color. Isn't that amazing? So this with a, put these with a cropped, when I say cropped, I shouldn't even say cropped. I should say boxy cut t-shirt, maybe like one of the ones from Walmart with your any type of jacket, could be a denim jacket, a puffer, 
anything, your jacket of choice with some ankle boots and it's just, it's instant style. It takes you away from just having on something boring or common and you're still comfortable, you will love it. Now this, I wish they had the pants there. I need to look online, but kind of like, I got my fix after I did this, but this color, I mean, could it be any better? This is like 70s in a color, but I did get the top. So I will probably, like this with the jeans that I have on right now and some nude pumps, I mean, perfect. This with a pair of black, like cigarette, leg pants with any type of boot or black pumps and big gold jewelry and just any jacket. Oh, I just love this. I love that color. They, this was on sale for 20 also. So We're going to go into PR now, some makeup, and then I'm going to show you my favorite thing of the week last. This is a package I got from Skylar Clean Beauty. They do fragrance and candles. And I have to say, if that is important to you, you and you like clean fragrances, you have to try one of theirs. Their scents are beautiful, especially their summer scents, but they have a good like ambery type scent too. So they sent me this package. It has the Vanilla Sky Candle. This is cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. Oh my gosh. Let's just whip this out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, what can I even, it reminds me of something. It's the coffee, <laughs> I was gonna say. See, I don't drink coffee, I wish I did. I say that to John all the time. When I see people drinking coffee, I want to enjoy coffee like that. I want to have that feeling. I want to look forward to coffee in the morning. I have tried it so many times and I don't like it. If you, if you can think of a coffee that I might like, let me know. I love the way it smells. That's what I was gonna say. So this has, definitely has a coffee smell. Okay, and the vanilla. It reminds me of coffee ice cream or a coffee milkshake. Cappuccino, pure vanilla, and caramelized cedar. Okay, so that, that kind of says it. Ooh, this, okay, this smells like this color. That's how I feel. It is just like so yummy. Okay, so this is the fragrance in that same scent. Love it. And then this is the fragrance in Midnight Moon. This is Italian bergamot, cranberries, and vetiver. So this is gonna be a crisper scent. Let me, oh, okay. Right off the bat, it's woody. Wow, what does that remind me of? Fresh, it's got a fresh top, that's probably the bergamot, and then it has a little bit of woody modern, mysterious, and bright. Yes. Okay, so the cranberries are probably fresh, the bergamot, and the vetiver, that gives it a smoothness. Okay, that is a good one too. I wonder if this is, I'm sure all of them are unisex, but this one, okay, if you like the boy, boyfriend scents like I do, or the boy smells, you would love this. Wow, that's a good package. Thank you so much, Skylar, for sending that to me. And of course, these are great gifts. Create memories with your Skylar fragrance at your dinner parties, coffee dates, game nights, movie nights, and much more. Actually, I was gonna tell you guys about this. I am going out of town this weekend, and I'll come back next week. I'm going to DC with a friend, and I've got my first ever Saks Fifth Avenue campaign. So I'm gonna be working on that and I might be, you know, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do that video with Saks if I'm going to do it more like a vlog style, but that's where I wanna do everything and take all of my pictures and everything. So I ordered some things that are fabulous and very, very practical, like some really good things that we can take and style like I might do X amount of outfits with these pieces. I might show you style them styled in different ways, but some very, very good pieces. And then I'll be in different places too. So 
follow me on Instagram for sure because I will be updating you there. And then when that sax video comes out, I will, you know, that will be kind of like behind the scenes and all of that good stuff too. I'm very, very excited. That's a, a new thing for me. Okay, something else that I got in PR just today is the Buxom Full On Plumping Lip Mat. I have not opened this box. I just opened the big box that it came in. Oh my gosh. You guys, I just got butterflies. Okay, so I'll read the note. This is the Buxom New Full On Plumping Lip Mat. Fall in love with mat. Unique peptide complex helps promote moisturizing feel, plumper looking lips, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E. 94% um, felt lips were smoother and plumper. Okay, oh my gosh. Okay, let me just show you this again. Not only did they send me the colors, but they sent me the lip liners. Ah, oh, that is so exciting. Okay, so let's be polite and read the letter that they sent me. I know, I'm the luckiest girl in the world, I know. Hey Lisa, we are so excited for you to experience the full-on plumping lip matte collection. We've included all 10 shades with the coordinating power line lip liners for you to choose how to celebrate your perfect buxom babe pout. I wonder if they know how, I wonder if they know about me and Celeste. With a hydrating velvety smooth finish, these will be a staple product for perfecting your winter pout. Be sure to show us how you create the perfect pout to do your babes at buxom. Okay, so let me go get a paper towel and we will switch out my lips for one of these. The lip combo I had on was my Paradise Lip Liner, Golden Hour Lipstick, and a little dab of City Beauty San Diego in the center. Okay, let's, let's do Dolly because I think Dolly is one of those that everyone, oh, wow, look at that. Nice brush. I think Dolly is one that everyone would love. And here again, I need to go get a mirror. Be right back. I'm gonna turn that overhead light off because I can't help but think that you will see the color better. And I'm gonna zoom you in too. Will it zoom? There we go. So let's get this party started. Now this is one of those lip liners that has like this triangle type shape. I thought this palette went with my look today. Let me scoot you over here. This box. Okay, so let's use Dolly. Oh, I feel like I still got so much. My lip liner that I made with Christian Audette lasts forever. I'm gonna try to get it off, okay. Oh, that's a good one. Get out of here. Wowza. I always rub my lips together when I have the liner on. You guys, this candle. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. It is like walking in the fanciest coffee shop. Wow, okay, now we're going to use the dolly, if I can get it out of here. Ooh, John's not here. Oh God, I was just thinking, what am I gonna do if I can't get it out? Okay, so this is dolly in the mat. And I recommend just putting on one layer, putting your lips together and then go like that and then get in all these little creases. Wow, that's a good one, isn't it? That is a good one. Oh my goodness, I love this. Okay, so I would say Dolly combo for everyone that I can't imagine anyone not liking that. And then, okay, brunching with smooth spice. 
this, oh gosh, all of them are so good. Even those two. I, I kind of like that brown sometimes. It reminds me of, hmm, I guess a little bit of 90s and a little bit of, I don't know what, what era is the best Jerry Hall? Is that 70s? But I love that. Thank you so much to Buxom and Bear Minerals for sending those to me. Let me back you up some. And tell me down below, was the lighting best with or without that overhead light on? I still have a light right here just because. Okay, <sighs> if you've been with me, you know how much I love my tiger. My tiger that I bought from Sully and Lynn. She is a, I met her through Kelly that owns Oliver and her artwork was in Oliver. I loved it. I ended up meeting her at some parties there and I ended up buying that tiger from her. And then she did a lip painting for me. She did um, my camel. I got him from her and I really wanted something new. I wanted something that I could possibly use for sweatshirts, for journals, for different things, and for my room upstairs over my sofa. And I got with her, talked to her, and we decided to do a lion because you guys know I've always loved lions, tigers, leopards, anything like that. And when I was little, my mom called me Lisa Lion, and that I've just always had a thing with lions. And now that I'm doing carnivore, it's like another collection or a connection to the lion diet. So that's where this came from. I did not have in mind a blonde lion. And I did not have in mind all this stuff. I told her, I want you to create it. I want it to be your work because your work makes me happy. I remember when I used to sew, I did not like it when people picked out the fabric to go together. I wanted to pick it out because that's part of being creative and I wanted that for her. So of course I did pay for it and I've got it. I picked it up last weekend and he is magnificent. Let me get him, hold on. Here he is. I have not named him yet. It just hasn't come to me. It's definitely, of course it's definitely a boy. It's a lion with a mane. But even before then, he's definitely very masculine, but it's just me up and down. She put the Monstera, which you guys know, that's my favorite plant. She put, she did the blonde lion. She put hibiscus in there, which is another favorite flower. The pink, oh my goodness, even his pink nose. I love it, his blue eyes. And then these are my lips. She took it, she asked me for some pictures of my lips head on, which is not easy with me because I am a side tilter. I just feel like this side of my face is more full. I don't know, that's just part of how I've always done. I it's not necessarily it's my best side, but that's just what I always do, probably because I'm right-handed. But anyway, so I found some in thumbnails and pictures there and I sent them to her and she asked me right at the end, did I want red or pink? For the lips and I was like oh god I'm so glad you asked me that because I never wear red lips I said I'm usually a peachy or peachy nude color so she did the peach lips and he is just gorgeous I love him he's my new addition for upstairs and just I don't know what his future holds as far as a design but I knew that I wanted him for my upstairs I just know that her artwork makes me happy Oh my goodness, you guys, I almost forgot about my shoe update. Okay, if you're interested in the shoe update, stay tuned. The microphone's flying off. It's just, I can tell it's <laughs> time to end the video. Okay, the Ugg Escapade. These, you know, are my favorites. All of you, we've all gotten them. These are the regular Ugg Cosette. I'm hoping I can still find these for you guys because it's not the same. It'll never be the same. You know, I got these and they're much bigger, chunkier, the heels chunkier, they're wider. They're more like the Louis Vuitton. It's just a different look. It's a, just a different look. So I ordered the black curly Cosette too. They're supposed to be like this and it's just not. 
you can see these are actually just these with the plain. They are more of a shearling, but look at the difference in the sole size and just everything. It's just not the same. It's just not. They're much chunkier, clunkier. It's a different look. Like with these, it's like, you get what I'm saying. These you could pass off as, yeah, they're Uggs, but they still looked slimline and chic. These are just that, that look. So I wanted to just report back to you that bit of sad news. And the Croc platform, best shoe ever. I recommend you get them. I could wear them every day. I love them every time I wear them all day. These, I don't like the way they look as much, but these are good ones around the house and they are so warm. I wish that the solid black didn't have a big old, huh, bet you could take that out. But the solid black ones, I just wasn't crazy about. I, I really don't like the way these look very much, but they are super warm and comfortable. That's the update on those. And then these, I've had a chance to wear these three times now. The first time I wore them, I was a little alarmed because this was hurting my ankle. And I was mostly worried about you guys buying them and hating them. But I noticed the second time and then the third time, they hurt less and less to almost nothing. I think this just has to break in. I think at first they might be a little stiff right there and they hurt just right at the back of that skinny bone ankle, ankle bone but they get better and they're not pretty. I'm not gonna say they're pretty, but they're cool. I get lots of compliments on them. The FedEx lady was asking me all about them and they're comfortable. So I don't think anybody puts on a pair of Uggs and thinks that they're good looking. They're comfortable, they're warm and they're cool. Let's just face okay. it, that is it. I don't have, I have on my Michelle watch that I've enjoyed. I have on the big um, studs I always forget what the name of these is. It's the whatever, whatever studs, the largest one, knockout studs from Dean. I have on my big chunky necklace from Jenny Bird and I didn't put a ring on. I felt like I had enough going on when I got to that point. I just thought I don't need a ring. And um, what else? I feel like, oh, the, my nail polish. This is um, just a random, the lady, that was doing the pedicure beside me, I loved hers. And this is what it was. I don't know if it was that D&D &D or one of those polishes that they use in a lot of nail salons, but the name of it is Dare to Wear. It's very, very, very much like OPI, I'm not really a waitress. It has like a little bit of sparkle in it. So thank you guys so much for being here. It means so much to me. I love it. I love every moment with you and I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.